With the move to be tested, a new market now complete and a new signing to promote, it has been a very exciting winter for the Shadwell team so far. Will Wright told TDN about Mustadaf, the dual Group 1 winning son of Frankel, who has joined the roster at Shadwell to stand alongside Baid and Mahathir. He also spoke about how the stallions have settled in at Beach House. Mustard has been very well received by breeders. Um, obviously we got the chance to show, show him over the breeding stock sales and there's been a continuous flow of people coming up to see him. He was an exceptional racehorse and I say the joint top rated horse in Europe, raced 128. Um, obviously the winner of the Judmont, winner of the Prince of Wales, the highest rated Prince of Wales winner since, since Dubai Millennium back in 2000. Um, and obviously defeated a, a long list of um, Group 1 winners and multiple Group 1 winners in, his, in those two Group 1 wins last year. Um, I think people realised that he was say, a very impressive throughout his career, very impressive horse throughout his career. He's a horse with immense talent, an amazing pedigree. Um, obviously, son of Frankel out of Dubawi mare, Handassa, um, the first son on that cross, standing in in Europe. Um, so, I say the pedigree, which is packed with natural speed, through um, obviously his half sister um, Nazif who is obviously a two-time Group 1 winning miler, and then back through to Pastoral Pursuits and Goodrick, um, who are two champion sprinters. Um, so he's exactly he's got everything in his favour, an imposing quality horse. Mossadaf, is, 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 his pedigree is, is one of the big major selling points for him. He's uh, obviously, look, he's, he's out of a very fast family, miling, sprinting family, um, which, as I say, breeders realise that, that that speed under, under his in his immediate family through say through his half sister Nazif and back back through pastoral pursuits and good right champion sprinters. I think breeders really can can get on get onto him as a from a commercial prospect and um I say that, that speed as we know is important in the in the in the modern day market, rightly or wrongly, to, to many breeders. Um, so look, he's he's got everything obviously son of Frankel and to say the ability to, to win stakes races over a mile. He won on debut over seven, won, won by four lengths over over seven furlongs. Um, and say two winning stakes races over a mile to then winning group ones over a mile and a quarter. Um, say just an incredibly talented racehorse. Mossadaf is a very strong and posing horse, athletic, got a really, really good quality around him. Um, say he's, you mentioned his temperament, he, since he's come here he hasn't really turned a hair, he's, his temperament's been remarkable. Um, as you can see, um, he is. He's settled into his new life here at Shadwell um, at Beach House very well. Um, and as I say, breeders coming along and seeing him um, and examining him. And they as I say, physically, he really does take the eye. So, um, no, it's, uh, he's going down very well. The move to Beach House is very exciting for all concerned. Um, obviously, this is a start of great history, um, being home to past greats, Capello, St Paddy, um, the list could go on, but obviously Nyarko is, is the headline name there, um, and sort of one of the, the world's most influential sires in the, in the thoroughbred breed, so um, yeah, Mossadaf's currently standing in his box. This place of great history, um, we're, we've come in, we've obviously Shadwell have had to, had the stud um, and used it previously for, for more from a, from, a, from a mare and foal perspective, but um, to have the stallions back standing at Beach House is, um, is, is a very exciting um, time and to have put us back in the heart of Newmarket, um, I think it's very exciting for Shaker Hitter and the family to, to, to position themselves back in the home of horse racing um, and it's, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm.